got the Aquarius full moon today. A couple hours ago. I mean, yeah, a couple hours. Aquarius born, the water's in. Possibly um, alien energies, things you have not felt before. We got the T-square going with Jupiter in Taurus. Where Uranus is. We got that Mercury opposition with Saturn. We got in conjunction, junction, transformation of the emotional awareness through the power of your perception with Pallas Athena here. Chiron trining, Black Moon Lilith. The Yod still in effect with Venus and Neptune and Pluto. <clears throat> For me, um, to try and put the tension to form, to overcome the limitations of what has been through what I've felt, the information that I've been aware of, Virgo. say of this turtles you know you got these metal straws fucking awesome to clean you just need to get one of those little pipe cleaner things all right so alien information becoming aware of us what's alien is what is unknown look at the world around you look at all the crazy news if you study religion then you think it's prophecy if you study conspiracy, then you think it is um, a lot of different things. If you study life, then you realize that we're always entrained, locked into the limitations of the facts which are on the table, the information available. We do not give the emotional energy, the emotional intelligence any validity because there's no language for it in applied application in a consensus communal response. So all this stuff with the uh, children, you know, and the trafficking and all the crazy stuff that's about to come out, things other people have spoke of for a long time, that's Medusa story. Problem, reaction, solution, Hegelian dialectic. Nothing is, um, when you control narration at the top level, nothing is left to chance. You must own the opposition. If you want to win a game, you design the game, you create the players. You don't even compete, essentially. But I'm interested in the self. I'm interested in transforming my awareness and my focus. So the T-square here with Jupiter. Uranus in Taurus. Jupiter is going to come into conjunction with Uranus when Uranus is retrograde, I believe. Let me focus on the moon here, pouring in the emotions. How do I get in relation to the authenticity of what that is without allowing what narrations are flooding in to spin it off in some other direction? How can I acknowledge the lies within myself without judging them? 
without allowing it to limit me in the loops of well you deserve that or well this is all that's available or capable for you or this is how the world is or this is how things will always be epigenetics in relation so you um find polarity that brings friction to form which is beneficial to you here's the quincunx the in conjunction junction with the moon here cancer the emotions Virgo, the application of an awareness that comes through service to the self in relation to this world, service to the world in relation to the self, trying to make sense of that. I mean, they're both more than that, but for all intent and purposes, let's keep this short here. I'm going to the river today. I'm going to allow the river to speak to me. And what is that? What arises within you when you're in nature? You don't know. It's a feeling, you know. The words are fractal to meaning. Words can only infer, so you go there. You um, get into nature and you allow the tension of relation to inform you. Nature isn't asking you to do anything unless it's um, <laughs> asking you <laughs> through extremes, generally speaking. I feel heaven on earth is formed through the Virgoan archetype, but it is uh, the emotional awareness without the labeling, without the restrictions, without the bonds of what has been. That's how Aquarius informs me. It's about the alchemy of life. Sometimes you're with us, sometimes you're not. in awareness so that's how I'm going to use this full moon energies there are no intentions without regulation of your emotions and what is regulation it's just um, coming to grips with what the fuck is what the fuck could be <clears throat> essentially I mean you don't need to use the F word but I mean it's kind of like that words can only infer you know what's the uptake of emotional response in the absence of information opposed to in the presence of information. So Medusa's stare is going to get you. You might as well make it a good stare, so nature's always good. Alright, thanks for watching, listening, and peace.